僕はベストラのライバル会社ケルベロスがある柿津端大通りの西側へとやってきた Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another e t w e n t y f o u r video. We are jumping straight back into the disaster report for DLC. I think we're almost done. We should be pretty close to the end here. So we're coming back to、um, the, the IT company, Bestora, to, I guess,、uh, investigate them. So our top option here is.、Um, Oh, sorry, this isn't Bestar. This is、uh, Cerberus. This is the rival company. So, the top option here is we're, we're kind of getting excited about getting. I'm not excited, but we're here to like, get some more information about the rival、um, IT company because maybe they have some, some information that would lead us to、uh, you know, what Kirishima is all about, what he's, what he's been up to. The second option here is.、Um, I actually don't have a lot of confidence that I'll be able to like, get some information from Cerberus, but like, I'm here.、Uh, this third one is like, more, than, like, more than getting information from Cerberus. I actually just want to see that reporter again, Honda san. I guess he was kind of cute. <laughs> this. This one is like, if I don't get information,、um, I'm worried that I might get scolded by Honda san. This one is like, oh,、uh, you know what? Actually, maybe I do want to get scolded by Honda san. And then you can, it sounds like you have some weird, strange expectations. And this one's just like more than information about, like, from Cerberus. I actually am more、uh, worried about Hiroko because we're still looking for her and she's still not home yet. So why are we here? I guess we're just here to get information from Cerberus. ケルベロスでベストラの情報を集めるぞと燃えていた。Oh, I'm still wearing the,、uh, the bunny headband from the maid cafe. I'll leave it on. It's a, it's a good look. So we're back here on the other side of Kakitsubata Odori. We were on the other side, the side that has the,、uh, the, the hamburger restaurant. Um, let's check out Smile 12 and 12. Uh, this guy, he's still not. How are you here? How are you still here? So, it's Kumazawa. It's the same as the same, like, guy from the main game. He's. It says he's still a fake manager. So, how he's still doing this is beyond me. I don't know how he's just, like, infiltrating convenience stores,、uh, convenience stores all around the city and just. Pretending to work there. Like, you have to have a uniform, I guess. I guess he stole that, maybe. Our top option here is just like, hey, you're the guy who was selling stuff、uh, at a high price like half a year ago. And this one's just like, because of you,、um, I kind of got into a bit of trouble half a year ago. This one's, you saved my life half a year ago. And this one's like, who are you again? But I definitely remember who this guy is. I wonder if he's still selling stuff at, at,、um, at a high price. He's just like, please buy some stuff. Okay, yeah, so this bento is like 24,000、um, yen. So that's like $250 for, I mean, not a really great meal. 2,000 yen for that rice ball, 8,000 for that rice ball, and then these two, these two drinks are、uh, 8,000 yen. So I'm not going to buy any of that because. Nope. This one's like. Okay. So I guess, yeah, like as usual, you, you have a lot of stuff.、Um, as usual, you're selling stuff at a super high price. And then this one's like. You know, there are a bunch of other convenience stores around town. Like, I don't have to shop at this one. You know what I mean? Like, I could shop at another one、uh, and not pay an insane amount of, like, money. Okay, so this is like.、Uh, you know, there's no, yeah, there's no need to, to sell stuff at a high price. <laughs> this one's like, how, how is this guy not arrested yet?、Uh, which is my question.、Uh, this one's like, maybe this guy might know something about Hiroko. And this one's like, maybe this guy might know something about those two, those two guys.、Um, you know, those dangerous guys, the guys that tied us up in the main game. And then we can just kind of leave. 
How are you not arrested yet? Okay, I guess that was just like a, a thought to yourself. I wish we asked him, like, directly to his face, like, how are you not arrested? To see what's in here. Nothing, I guess. Just a bunch of boxes. These lockers aren't even, like, interactable. We can't even uh, check out what's there. So this person's on the ground. Uh, it literally just says, like, girl, like, whose butt is on the ground. Looks like she fell over, I guess. It's like, even when it's not shaking, it feels like it's shaking. And we're getting a cutscene, I guess. Oh, you're just one step ahead of me. I think she's talking to the building? Like, I don't... あれ。あ、君。レストラで霧島社長に声をかけられていた人ね。レストラのこと霧島社長のことで何か分かった？情報よ。情報は手に入ったの？ So she's asking us if we got any information about uh Kirishima. And I don't think we did. Not really. Kind of. So this top option is like we can tell her just straight up we'll be found out at Azami station. Um, oh yeah, we were talking to that one guy, the uh, the main cafe patron. This one's kind of like, you can tell her what we found out, but kind of like not, not, not right away, not straight out. This one's like, yeah, uh, in order for me to tell you information, I'm going to need a reward. And then we can actually just not tell her anything. I want a reward for my troubles. <laughs> Just actually hold your hand out. なるほど。やっぱり何かあるわね。Do I get a reward or I'm still holding my hand out, so Oh, I guess we did get something. We got us I didn't get to We got like a space uniform? So she's going to Bestora again and she's like, come meet me there or something like that. So she couldn't get any information and she's saying like you probably won't be able to get any information as well. Let's take a look at what we got. It was like a space thing? This thing? Making... I mean it looks alright. Not really? No, it looks bad? Okay. So the only lead that we have, according to the guy that we talked to at Azami Station, was that there is a person who works at this company who apparently Kirishima, like, highly regards or something like that. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot more people than there was here before. We can just walk right into the uh, president's room. This is really big. Also really empty? For a president? Honestly, that's a very small desk. I mean, I just... I just feel like that's a very, very small... desk for someone who's supposed to be at the top of the company but he does have a mini like a mini golf putting thing that's cool oh let's see what's in here 
looks like a conference room. He's like, what's going to happen to our company? And like, what's this guy saying? He's like the section manager, I guess, the kacho. We're completely done in by Bestora. And the, the president's like super pissed. All right, what's your deal? So this girl is, I guess, getting some kind of explanation. She's like, um, I don't understand anything what this guy is saying. He's right in front of you. Like, maybe you should not be talking to me about him. But anyway, so he's like, I don't get what this guy's saying. Um, but I promised that I would go shopping with the with Kuraki san at the at the reception desk. So I hope this this meeting ends on time. So we actually we were looking for for Kuraki. I guess it's the the same person then. That's my guess. Otherwise, why would that text be highlighted? I mean, we'll go. So she said the reception desk. It could be the, it could be like a different person. Um, that's the thing about Japanese is like we don't know if it's it's a male or female. Um, in English, I feel like that would be way more obvious, but you can never tell. So this is the same person I think from before. We actually borrowed the key from her in the main game. Uh, yeah. So this is that's the option here. It's like before, like I actually borrowed the key to underground, like the under past kind of like underneath the highway and then this third one's like i uh proclaimed my love to you which is true we actually did do that in in when i when i played through um when i did the main game yeah and just like before she completely brushes uh completely brushes you off So it's like, I'm here to talk to the president um, about just stuff, trade dealings or whatever. Uh, this one just like, are you the Kuraki-san that um, Kirishima like really like highly regards or whatever? This one's like, you're so beautiful. Uh, I fell in love with you at first sight. Please go out with me. And then this one's like, actually, you know what? I'm fine. And then you can kind of leave here. Um, but are you the Kuraki? Like that would kind of make things really easy. Okay. Well... She says, like, yeah, I am indeed Kuraki. Okay, so... She's asking if we have any kind of, like, business. Like, yeah, this is the same one that knows Kirishima. Okay, so this one says, like, last July, you... Did you say, like, you had misjudged Kirishima? And then this one's like, did you say that you you said something like you would go that far to stay alive or whatever? And then this one's like, do you know anything about the, the connection um, between Kirishima and that M company in America? Or nothing. So that's kind of like a personal thing, so she can't really, she can't really um, tell us. Okay, but I guess she's hungry. So she's like, yeah, my stomach is, is grumbling, so sorry about that, excuse me. We do have another option, this third one is, you seem to be hungry. Um, yeah, I am hungry, but don't think that you can try to, like, get me just by giving me some kind of food. Um, I won't eat anything except for the highest class chocolate. And we have two options here. Our first one is we can um, we can give her the chocolates that Akemi-san gave us for Valentine's Day. Is that? Yeah. So we still have those. I didn't eat them. And then this is like nothing. So I think I still have the chocolates. I actually forgot about them entirely. We just handed them over. Okay, so she's like, wow, this is the, uh, these are the Akemi brand, like high class chocolates. Now I have to cooperate with you.
Um, I don't know how much you know, but... Please allow me to test you? Like, she wants to test us or something. She wants us to guess the initials of her boyfriend when she was a student. If you can do that, then... Or we can do that, then she'll tell us information about Kirishima. The hint is the 7th and the 2nd. But what are the 7th and the 2nd? Did you look... Hold on. Did you look at the included theme? The one that plays Ida Mai's, like, song. Oh, no. She's talking about... Okay, yeah, she's talking about... I'm pretty sure she's talking about the included um, PlayStation theme. Because this is paid DLC. This is 1,200 yen. You get, like, the rest of the epilogue, and you also get a dynamic theme and then a bunch of avatars. And I'm really sure she's talking about the actual dynamic theme. This is like a Metagross Solid thing where you have to like look at something else. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so I guess we have to jump into... Uh, we're going to need to to jump into the, uh, the, uh, the menu here. Hold on. Okay, I think maybe we might have gotten it. So on the menu theme, um, she said like the 7th and the 2nd. So maybe we can try to figure this out. There isn't like any text on the menu except for like um, the, the name of the game. So we're going to try that. Uh, okay, let's try to figure this out. So what is the first letter? And the hint is the 7th letter. Or the like the 7th thing. There was literally nothing on the theme except for like a bunch of pictures and um, and then the name of the games that I said to me, Toshi 4 Plus. So hold on. So if we take a look at the name of the game, Zetai Zetsume. So Z Z E T T Zetai T T A I Zetai Zetsume. So that would be a Z. And then the second would be the the E in Zetai. Nice, that was it. So I guess you don't need to try that hard. It was just Z E for Zetai Zetime. And then in this case, I guess her boyfriend's name was Zach Edogawa. That's a very interesting name, so maybe he's half or something. Uh, so he was in the same universe to T, <laughs> university in America, as Kirishima. Alright, so she's going to tell us about what she kind of realized about Kirishima uh, last summer. So in order to get like um to revitalize his his company um I guess he like did stuff that isn't quite illegal but and then it says she lowered her voice like just a little bit like one level and then in our ear she like said something very shocking the it's so shocking that they're just going to like not say it so we have no idea we actually don't know what it is the game just didn't the game just didn't like say it but maybe the writers didn't write it I mean, it's one of those two it's but it's both it's both so she just like that she says like that's it um that's kind of just like my opinion though i actually don't know if it's true or not so if you bring it up with him he might kind of reject it or something Uh, I believe in you, so I want you to swear to me. That's kind of a weird thing. Okay, I want you to swear to me that like when I make a company, when I start my own company, uh, I want you to join me or something. I want you to be my partner. We can say yes, absolutely. We can be like, I don't really feel like it, but okay. And then this one's like, 
kind of like, no, I, I like, how dare you? How dare you do that? Sure, I guess. I don't know where this is going, but okay. She wants to like make, she wants to beat Kirishima and this own company, like this president. And even her old boyfriend. So when that time comes, she'll contact, I, I don't know, I, you don't have our phone number, but sure, whatever. Uh, don't betray me, like don't leak out like my ambitions or, or whatever. And then she's going back to work now, I guess? Okay. So that was, um... Okay, so now we got what we wanted. So we had to come to this company to get information from Kuraki, who I guess was the receptionist this whole time. So we have dirt on uh, Kirishima now. So I guess we can go talk to Honda? Because we did find some stuff out. So we have to go uh, and find her. I think she said she went back to... She went back to, to Bestora. So... That's on the other side of the of this area, the one that had the, the hamburger restaurant, so I guess it's just over here. It's gonna be a bit of a jaunt though, I think. The last time we were here we had a, like a motorbike and we were able to drive on the highway. So it says yeah, it's too far to walk. I guess that means we can just take a bus then. It's gonna jog over. To the bus over here. Okay, if we want to get on the bus, it says to get on the other side. I assume that means the other side of this area. There should be a gap in the fence up here. This is where we we got we got through the, to the other side in the main game here, just right over here. Uh, it's locked. It's locked. Okay. And it won't let us walk any further, so we have to get to to the other side. I think we got to get the key again, so I think we got to go back up and and talk to um, Kuroki-san to get the key one more time. That's kind of annoying. I wish she could have just given us the key when we were there talking to her already. Uh, hey, I'm back. I want the key to the fence. Okay, so it's kind of dangerous. I guess they're doing some construction. Um, I'll give you the key, but I want you to wear a helmet. Do I even have a helmet to wear? No, the bunny ears will do fine. Don't worry. I'll be safe. The bunny ears will, will be okay. All right, let's take a break right here. So when we come back, we'll open the, uh, the fence and we'll get to, to the other side. And then I guess we'll take the bus. Seems like a weird chain of events, but yeah, we'll get to that. So if you don't want to miss the next part, keep an eye on the channel. It will be up really, really soon. Um, go ahead and let me know what you thought. You can leave a comment down below. Feel free to follow me on Twitter if you want. You'll find a link to my profile in the description. If you have extra time and you want something else to watch, feel free to just jump on over to the channel. Um, we do play a bunch of Japanese games, so if you're into like this kind of stuff or JRPGs mostly, um, there'll be a bunch of stuff there for you. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again. Take care.